Hello again. Welcome to Career Success Strategies Online, Lesson 8, Part 1, Prepping for Your Interview. Let's see what we're going to cover in this lesson. What do I wear? Very important question. We're going to go into that in detail. General tips. What are some of the things you should keep in mind? What are some of the do's and don'ts of preparing for your interview? Let's jump right in. What do I wear? Well, that question, the only way to answer it is by saying to yourself, hmm, what sector am I interviewing for? What position am I interviewing for? What is appropriate for where I'm going to be interviewing? See, different sectors require uh, different types of dress. If you're going for an office job, shirt and tie makes sense. If you're going for a job in the kitchen, I'm not sure if you want to wear a shirt and tie. You know, if you ever have any questions, you can always ask your career developer. You can even call the people you're going to be interviewing with and find out what's appropriate. One tip, start preparing for the interview now. Invest in a little bit of money, put some money aside, and start putting your interview gear together. If you're going to need work boots, spend some money, get these work boots now. Don't wait until the interview to try to put everything together. Let's get a head start on it. Okay, let's, let's see what some of these sectors require when it comes to interviewing. Culinary. Now, a shirt and a tie may be appropriate for a nice fancy restaurant. However, if you have a clean polo shirt, wrinkle-free, slacks, you're good to go. If you're going on a trail, you're going to be washing dishes, you're going to actually be cooking and handling food, black shirt, black pants, runner shoes, that's the way to go. Construction is another really physical job. And though you are going to be getting your hands dirty, you don't want to present yourself at the interview with your hands dirty. So make sure that your work boots are clean, that your jeans are pressed, and that if you're wearing khakis or a button-down shirt, it's clean, buttoned all the way up, and that you present yourself as a professional construction worker. You see these two guys I'm standing in between? Or is it two pictures of the same guy? I don't really know. But look at how they're dressed. These guys are going for a desk job, an office job, something more forward facing. And notice, one has a nice tie, the other open shirt, but presentable. Dark navy jacket, gray slacks or light gray slacks. The idea is that you wanna present a neat, orderly, organized, professional look. Remember, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. And that first impression can speak volumes. Another thing to keep in mind is loud or flashy jewelry. You wanna keep that to a minimum. And then also for those of you who like cologne, either wear no cologne or something really light. You don't want that to be what's most remembered about your presentation. I had to reposition myself. I was covering this gentleman's face. Uh, transportation warehouse jobs, another area where you don't necessarily need a shirt and a tie, but clean slacks, clean dress shoes, and what's most important, make sure that all of your relevant certifications are with you. You don't wanna to have to send it later. You come to the interview prepared for everything. So it's not just your professional dress, but your portfolio is professional. Anything that might be important to that job, you make sure that you have it. I feel like I'm kind of rushing through this but remember, at any time, you can pause this video, go back, 
and spend some time looking at the details of some of the sectors we've covered already. Maintenance is a, a tricky one because you may be going for a maintenance job in a corporate building, or you may be going for a maintenance job in a school or a residential building. So you're going to really tailor your outfit. Get it, tailor? You're going to tailor your interview attire based on where you're actually going for this maintenance position. If it's a corporate building, suit and tie, shirt and tie, that's appropriate. But if you're going for a residential building, slacks and a collar shirt, that will do the trick. Well, we talked a little bit about what you should wear. Here, we're going over some of the do's and the don'ts. If you see under the do column, we're focusing on what you should do ahead of time and then what you should do the day of. Under the don't column, whether it's ahead of time, the day of, the day after, just don't do it. Some of these things that we have here are tried and true principles. I can give you really so many examples of some of the don'ts I had to learn the hard way. Take some time and read through these things. Okay, you finished the video, but you haven't finished the lesson. Go back to Google Classroom under Classwork and take the Lesson 8 Part 1 Assessment for prepping for your interview. I'm sure you're going to do really well.